I greet you in the loving name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Today's message is on Psalms 23. David was a worshipper and let's see within himself what did he learn about kingdom principles. You find if you look at Psalms 23 we found it in, find it in many houses, many places. But let's see more especially what God is telling us even as we dig from the gems that we can find in Psalms 23 and we find that David was a shepherd and he understood the things that comprise being a shepherd and he put this in a psalm but his focus was on heavenly things. Let's today let's look at some of the things that we can glean as we realize and learn more about our shepherd who is the father up above. Amen. Hallelujah. You find that firstly it comes out the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord, you can only call yourself and call somebody a Lord when you realize that you're the servant. We, we, when we approach God, we must approach God that knowing that He is our Lord, not just Lord over our lives, Lord over everything we have, our talents, our finances. And we, we remind ourselves that how many times we need to confess and say that He is Lord over our everything because the enemy wants to know that we're in control. He wants to make us that we will eventually control everything around us. And with controlling things, you realize that there is the matter of pride that steps in. And in this day and age, the devil wants you to be self-centered, where you focus more on, your, on, on yourself rather than depending on the Lord. And you find this, this beautiful psalm opens up the Lord. And you stop right there. Whatever is issue in your life that, you, that you're experiencing, realize that it stops and starts at the Lord. Jesus is the Alpha and Omega over your situation, over anything that happens to you. And I keep saying to people that whatever happens to you must be filtered through God. And we know that He is the Lord over every situation, everything or every uh, idea we have. Uh, make sure that uh, we maintain that even our own kingdoms, because the Bible says the kingdom of this world shall become a kingdom of our God. Even our own little homes that we have, we're building that the Lord is the center of it and uh, everyone in the home should know this. Everyone in the uh, household should have the same vision that everything centers around the Lord. That even sometimes some important decisions families have to make. But we come back to the table and say, what does the Lord decide for our family? What does the Lord decide for our homes? Um, the Lord is my shepherd. You find the word shepherd, David understood what it is to be a shepherd and in this day and age, Nothing stops us from being the shepherd. You know, sometimes we say that the shepherd is our pastor. Uh, the shepherd is uh, more for people that are keep taking care. But I want to tell you something that um, we reminded how Lazarus uh, came out from the tomb and Jesus said, go and take off those bandages. So we today become shepherds to each other. Shepherds within him, the true shepherd. And uh, one thing that we must realize is that sheep go and make other sheep. So it's our duty. We've been commissioned. Uh, to go out and spread the gospel. We've been commissioned to raise up disciples and uh, we need to bring more people into the fold. It is important for us to realize that God leaves the 99 and he goes for that one. And sometimes, uh, even with this uh, medium that we're using, it's not about how many subscribers we have, it's not about how many people come to listen to it. But if, if, if it's done just for one person and it changes their lives forever, then it's well worth it. Um, all this is not in vain. Um, it's not about the numbers, it's, it's about uh, God, God reaching um, people's lives and impacting them and more especially us raising up God in people's lives. Um, one of the things that a shepherd does, um, basically three things, you find that a shepherd leads you and the Bible says that uh, he leads me in parts of righteousness. Uh, it says also, um, thy word is a lamp unto my feet. He leads you through his word, so you need to spend time with his word. Uh, if you, the Bible says that um, my sheep know my voice, so the shepherd is talking to you constantly through the day. Um, sometimes we look for a certain time in the day to, to seek God. But just know this, God can pop into something into your spirit in the late uh, hours of the night while you're driving your car. Um, anytime God can pop something into your spirit, man, which gives a confirmation uh, that God is telling you something. It is important that we listen. I even told you sometimes when people are placed in your mind, pray for them because you never know you can uphold them uh, at that point in time. Uh, they need someone to pray for them. Uh, we stand in the gap. Uh, we make intercession just like how um, 
intercession is made on behalf of us before the Father. Likewise, we need to make intercession on behalf of other people uh, before God and uphold them. Um, we find that uh, the Bible says that many as are the sons of God, uh, they are led by the Spirit. Uh, today we get our leading through the Word and through the Spirit. And it's so important that we we continue to grow. You know, we used to sing the song, read your Bible, pray every day, and you will grow, grow, grow. Um, forget your Bible, forget how to pray, and you'll shrink. And uh, yet again, we're reminded through this is one word, shepherd, that it's so important for us to have our nourishment as sheep. Uh, and our nourishment is his bread, his daily bread. Uh, our nourishment is his voice. Uh, we need to always be around the shepherd. You find uh, the sheep love to be around the shepherd. They love to be around the flock, um, uh, gather around the shepherd. And they constantly listen for the voice of God. And, and you know what? Um, in the course of the day, you find the Holy Spirit will prompt a lot of things. Uh, sometimes you, you may be going to a certain place. The Holy Spirit might tell you not to go there. Um, sometimes the, the Holy Spirit might tell you visit a certain person. Um, those are all promptings and the voices of the Holy Spirit telling you uh, to play a part in God's kingdom. Uh, it's not about, as I say many times, it's not about us being in the front line, uh, but it's our role in the kingdom of God. And um, we are instrument in the great orchestra that God is playing. Uh, the other thing that a shepherd does uh, is he provides. Uh, you find that God uh, is faithful to provide. Uh, they say he is the pro uh, in any vision to make the provision. Uh, so God wants to provide for you. His name is Jehovah Jireh, uh, the Lord my provider. And he will provide, a, provide that which uh, is important for you, that which is necessary for you uh, in the kingdom of God for you to grow, for you to um, uh, excel in, in, in every area of your life according to his purpose and his plan. Uh, they always say that God uh, qualifies the unqualified. Sometimes you may say that uh, you're not fit to be uh, somebody that maybe speaks in the front. But God equips. Uh, you find this in the life of uh, Moses. Moses was a person that had a stammering problem. But God took that limit, uh, limitation that he thought he had and God told him, go and tell uh, Pharaoh. Uh, God um, used Moses' limitations uh, to portray a, a, the magnificence of an unlimited God. So today I want to tell you that when God tells you to do something, uh, be obedient. You never know. Uh, stepping out, stepping out in faith. Sometimes you um, like um, you be called out into the boat. You step on to, onto the waters. It's your choice to step on uh, by, by faith. In your natural, you say no, it can't be done. In the natural, we knew that uh, um, Peter couldn't walk on the water, uh, but by him stepping out in faith and keeping his eyes focused on Jesus, uh, he was able to step out. So if God is has a calling up to, upon your life. Uh, it may not just be a pastoral, it may not be uh, one of the officers uh, in the kingdom of God, but it will be something that you may play play a part in. I know many people that uh, uh, that are good with, with media, uh, many people that are good with drama, many people that are, are good with, with the singing. Uh, and each one of this is important in God's kingdom. Uh, therefore, we have the members uh, of the body of Christ uh, that plays their role. Um, and sheep, uh, sheep are important to be in the fold uh, in order for us to have a shepherd. And uh, I, I urge you that uh, you, you take control of his, of his leading, take control and uh, cognizance of his uh, guidance and his, and, and his provision. Uh, the other thing a shepherd does that we see that he, he protects, uh, a shepherd will make sure that he protects um, his sheep. You find uh, even David, David was able to face uh, Goliath because he was able to fight against lions and fight against foxes and fight against uh, uh, bears that may have come in uh, uh, for food for from the sheep and uh, tried to kill them but uh, David uh, fought against this and that's why from that's why we say uh, from another one level you go to another level um, that's how it is uh, sometimes when when you go from one level there's another demon uh, and another demon so the stronger you get uh, the stronger you must know you'll be facing uh, demons of different levels and God won't give you that which you can't bear. Uh, just know that God will help you overcome it. Um, God is a gracious God and His grace is sufficient there for you. Um, so if God protects you and, and, and uh, in the day, uh, take hold of it. Uh, apply Psalms 91 on, on, your, on your life and say, Lord, protect my family, protect uh, everything about me, Pro protect my choices as well, that I may not go astray. Um, take hold of the shepherd. He wants to be involved in your life. Uh, you find even parents nowadays are not being involved in their children's lives. But I urge you parents um, to, 
to be involved in your parents, in your, in your children's lives. Uh, you find the father is, is actively involved in our lives. He wants to know everything about us. Uh, he's always um, uh, making his presence known that, you know what, he's there for us. Um, there's there's uh, uh, people that he may use in the day. Sometimes it may be people we least expect, but one one word from them might just change our focus to say, you know what, we need to get back to the drawing board. And um, basically, loving God is, is all about the basics. Uh, you start from the basics and from there you grow. Uh, it's like with the, a child, you, you first have, have milk and then he has bread and then he has uh, the meat. Likewise with you, uh, 